Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tawanda, and I'm the Migraine Crafting Diva. And on this channel, I do decorating on a budget, DIYs, and hauls with a sprinkle of migraine enlightenment. And today's migraine fact is not every medication you take is going to work forever. Speaking from experience, speaking from having a migraine for over two weeks and taking all of the medications that I am prescribed to help with my migraines and then just realizing that they no longer work. So that is going to be my migraine fact for today. So with on that note, I, this is not um, a sponsored video, but I decided I wanted to try a couple of products from Timu to see what the difference would be in using some of their products um, compared to using products from Walmart or using products from the Dollar Tree. I really don't think that you can kind of compare. Oops, I'm sorry. I thought my, my uh, camera was about, my iPad was about to fall. So I have my bags here that they sent and I'm going to open it up. I kind of don't remember what all I purchased. So um, we're just going to look at everything together. So, and like I said, this is not a, this is not a sponsored video, but I just kind of wanted to use some of their products and see how they compare to some of the other places like Dollar Tree and Dollar General and Walmart, you know, some of the other places where I get some of my items that I use for crafting. So we'll go ahead and get started. I purchased these little flower petals. I don't know if you can see that or not. They're already pretty and I'll, once I start crafting with this stuff, I'll kind of let you guys, I'll give you, I'll give you like a true honest opinion on the items that I purchased. I mean, for right now, every, the items look okay from what I'm showing you at the moment, but I don't know. I purchased these little, what are these? It's like a mixed cup, mix, it says mixed color. And it's just like these little flowers and kind of just looking at them. I don't know. I don't know if I like these or not. I'm going to be honest, but we'll see after I do a DIY with them. But from looking at it, yeah, I'm really not that big of a fan of them. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I ordered a rotary cutter. I think it was a couple of dollars for this. I have two. Well, yeah, I have two of them. But I don't know where either one of them are. <laughs> I thought I had one with my sewing machine stuff. And uh, apparently I don't. So I purchased this one and usually what happens is, is I purchase something and then what I'm looking for will appear. So I probably just have it mixed in with some, some of my other craft and stuff where it's not supposed to be. But yeah, so I'm really looking forward to trying this out to see because I have some fabric that I want to make some pillows out of. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully it works. And. Um, these, this is some newspaper decoupage like paper. And I actually thought it was going to be bigger than this, but it's not, it's like really tiny. Like I thought it was going to be like paper size, like a normal size paper, but no, it is not. So I guess I could probably use these for like some tear tray type items maybe I'll see and then I did order some lace ribbon which that looks pretty nice so I can't wait to use that and I ordered <laughs> these so I ordered these to put in um, my bathrooms. I ordered one for our guest bathroom and for our master bath. 
and they're supposed to be like hand towels that you can kind of just hang on the wall I can't even get it open um, so when you have guests over they can just kind of dry their hands on this it's actually I thought oh that's kind of pretty cool and I and I have a ton of nieces and nephews and I thought that they would probably get a kick out of this instead of having to use a towel or use um, a paper towel to wash their, to dry their hands with they could dry their hands on this I'm sure they would really like that um, the little ones will probably spend a lot more time in the bathroom washing their hands just so that they can play with this they already do that enough with um, wanting to play with the foam soap from Bath and Body um, so I'm sure they'll get a kick out of that so like I said I ordered two of those so hopefully those work we'll see um, and I ordered um, this garden flags and actually this pack came with two in it and I believe I, I believe these were like three dollars if I'm not mistaken for the two pack but these are actually really cute and I love garden flags I I change these out constantly um, in my front yard so and I actually have two um, flag holders out there so these will be nice and I do plan on doing like a yellow um, and black and white kind of theme so these will be really nice outside my house because so I want to do like the um, sunflowers with like um, with the uh, with the bee theme for outside of my house so those will be nice and then I ordered some more little sponges so I like I have paint brushes but I really just kind of like to paint with use sponges when I'm painting so I'll probably just cut these into smaller pieces so that I can use them to paint with um, I have a ton of paint brushes don't really like to use them really prefer to just kind of use the sponges when I paint um, and then I just toss them away <laughs> oh my goodness so <laughs> <clears throat> Wow. I ordered this. <laughs> I can't even stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So I ordered this dually. Look at how tiny it is. I was thinking it was going to be like a decent size so that I could put it on my table because I actually really like the rose on the inside I thought that was really cute and um, yeah uh, um, yeah <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that maybe I could use a um, Maybe I'll just decoupage it onto a coaster and just kind of use it for decoration. Decorate. Yeah, that's pretty much, that'll be what I'll have to end up doing because, yeah, it, I won't be able to, yeah, not what, I won't be able to use this as planned. So I would definitely say, and if you're going to, if you're going to order from Timu, I would probably make sure that you read the sizes of the items that you are purchasing because um, I really thought this was going to be a lot larger than what it is and it is not. This is basically a cup holder. So yeah. And I ordered these and let me open this up so we my husband and I our hallway is extremely dark even with the paint color that we have so I'm wanting to paint it white paint the whole hallway white and I wanted to just add like just a simple um, like pop of color so I ordered these I ordered two of them so, but I don't know, I may just, I do like them. These are really cute. 
um, and I was thinking that I, I ordered two and I was thinking of maybe framing it around just making like a long photo making it like a long picture frame and do them side by side I ordered two of these and they're really actually really pretty um, I think they were like two dollars this was like a last minute purchase but I saw them and we do like birds and we um, decorate we have a lot of birds in our house that we used to decorate with and I thought this was really nice so I went ahead and just ordered it so I'm thinking about maybe um, making a wood frame to go around it to um, kind of like hang in our hallway but um, I don't know I may end up using it for something else because I kind of feel like I could probably just like cut it into like sections and just use it for other items to decoupage or do some other different things um, yeah so I may end up using it for something else. I actually have two of them, so we'll see what happens. But these are nice, that I will say. And there's actually their stickers, which is another plus. So, um, cause we, well, not me. My husband doesn't really like to have a bunch of holes in the wall. And I, and I, and, I understand what he's saying only because I change my mind so often that pictures we may have pictures up in our house for a little bit and then I will change them out and then I have to put new holes in the wall for different other, for other items that I put up so I figured this would be somewhat of a compromise because even if I don't put a frame around it I can always just use it as a sticker to put on the wall just to kind of give it a little bit of pop of color so those I like there is so much stuff in here. I think I ordered. Okay. So, and then I ordered this willow and it's like, um, like yarn, not, well, not really yarn, but like, let me open it up. It's like a trim. So it's like a willow trim. And I like to, um, when I do a lot of my pictures, I like to kind of frame them out with like ribbon or lace. So I thought this would be really nice to put around some of my DIYs when I do pictures. So I have, this one is a large one and it came in green. And then I have another one here, which is much smaller than this one. And this one is actually, let me see if I can, instead of it having like the green, it has the black. I can't, um, I don't want to break it, but if you can see, like the vine is black instead of the green. So it's really pretty. Um, I just wish I, w I wish there was a little bit more, but um, it wasn't that expensive. So I guess I can't complain, but, but they're really both really pretty. And then I ordered some purple, some lavender. And I think I ordered more than one of these, so I should have some more in it, but it's actually really pretty. Um, but I wish it was a little bit fuller than what it is. Um, I've purchased, and it has a funny smell to it. And I hope it doesn't give me a migraine. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this back in the bag. Um, yeah. But it's not as full as you, the ones that you would get from um, Walmart or um, the Dollar General. So and I think it may have been around the same price, like in the dollar, dollar fifty range maybe. Um, but you get a lot more from Walmart, I think, and um, the Dollar General. 
but I'll have to look at some of the ones that I have to compare, but I'm almost certain you do. And it doesn't have that weird smell. And then I also ordered some stamps. I thought I had ordered, yeah. So I have these postcard stamps, which I thought were gonna be, these are really pretty. And this is a there's like a bird on there and some flowers and I thought this will be really cute to use for some stamps. Now I have quite a few stamps already. Um, I haven't used any in my videos. Um, I might use some of these. I actually kind of like the ones with the birds with the, um, I don't know if you can see the writing here. Like, but I really do like these. So I'll try these out and see. Um, how they work and then I ordered this thing and I it's called um, a wider lock and I've seen like these like on the commercials so we're actually going to be redoing our floors our laminate floors so I figured I would just we could try this out to see if it works with like make doing proper angle cuts and stuff so and it was this was really cheap I think it may have been like maybe four dollars if that so um, we'll try this out and see how it works I'll let you know Okay, and then I ordered these buttons. I thought they were so cute and uh, they have like different, they have like little clocks on them and I don't know if you can see these or not, but they're like in different colors. Oops. And I do like to use buttons on my DIYs. This one has like a clock with little flowers on it. So I thought these would be cute. And they come in like different colors. And um, I don't know if you can see those or not. I'm trying to do them where they're not going to fall out of my hand. But um, yeah. So these are really nice. I like these. And I also ordered these buttons. And these come in different colors also. And these actually are like little, they're wooden buttons. And they have different prints on them, which is really pretty. And they come in all different colors. This one's really pretty. Okay. And moving right along. I ordered these. Um, and I think these are like a dollar. And these are the little things. I ordered these because when I'm painting, especially I have a couple items that I want to paint. And it's just going to be easier for me to be able to sit them on these once I flip them over to some larger items once I flip them over so that I can paint the other side. I don't really have to wait a long time for one side to dry and then flip it over and I can kind of just flip it over, put them on these and keep it moving. So excited to have these, really excited to have these. Can't wait to use them. So what else do we have here? Um, so this is another stamp that I purchased and these actually this will be good for um, tear tray, they uh, tear tray decor also. And I thought these were going to be bigger, but I guess I could use this with this. So I could probably open this up. Mm -hmm. 
Come on. Okay. So it has different ones on here. So. So maybe I could probably take one of these and kind of, well, you know, you can't really see it that well, but I could stamp over it like that and use it for like some type of tear tray decor or something or like some shelf sitters or something like that so that might work um yeah maybe this will be in one of my i have a video that i want to make of like smaller items that i that i can just kind of use as shelf decor and tear tray decor so maybe i will include this this these two items in it so Moving right along, I ordered this wood burning pen. This was like maybe, I don't know. I wanna say it wasn't more than $5. And so I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. I've never used them before, but just curious. And since it was so cheap, I kinda was like, I'll just buy it and see how it works and see what happens so um yeah i'll read the instructions and maybe i'll do a video of me trying to do this and figure it out and see what happens or maybe i may i don't know if i don't know if i want to try it out first and then do a video if i want to just try it on a video um i don't know we'll see maybe i, I may just try it with the video and just kind of see where we go from there. So that might be interesting. And then I have some more. These are really cute. I have some more buttons. These are wooden buttons and these are flowers and I'm not really sure. I hope I don't. They're falling out out of the bag, but really pretty. And you know, you don't really have to use the, you, I mean, I can also just paint them. So if you do end up purchasing these, you don't have to um, use them as the same color, or you can actually just kind of flip them over and then just do like, if you want to paint them or if you want to use some antique wax to um, do something different but i just thought the button itself and then the shape of the button the buttons excuse me um were nice so that's the reason why i ordered these and i figured i could use those on a lot of my um crafts and then i ordered some eucalyptus i love eucalyptus and i'm actually kind of afraid to open this because i don't know if it's going to have a smell to it so i think I am, I'm not going to open these. I'll probably have to open, yeah, it does have a, a weird, funny smell to it. So yeah, I'm going to have to put these outside to kind of air out, but I do really like to use like eucalyptus. And then I ordered, oh, well, this is weird. Um, I ordered these sunflowers and I, I'm almost certain that I ordered more than one or I thought it came with more than one, but there's just one in this packet. So I'm gonna have to go back and look at my receipt and see what I ordered. But um, yeah, there's only one in there and I'm almost certain I ordered, no, I know I ordered, what I ordered was not one. It should have been like a group of them together because I had planned on using these to make a wreath for my front door and um that's more than likely not going to happen because yeah there's only one in there so i'll probably just have to go somewhere and um purchase um some of those and then i ordered these little keys which i thought were really cute goodness this one's really cute for um easter look at that with the little bunny how cute is he 
then we have this one. This one has a little heart on it. It's a little baby key. So I'm not gonna go through all of them, but they just have like different um, designs on them. They're really cute. Oh, look at this one. That one's cute. Okay. And see, I said I wasn't going to go through all of these and look at me. Okay, I need to put these down. But look how cute this is. So I can't wait to use these. I almost see myself using these in like a picture frame and kind of just lining them up like in rows. Maybe like, um, like in a picture frame and do like five across and maybe like four down or maybe five, four across and five down. I think this would be a really cute, um, these would be really cute in a picture frame. And I am not, what is this? It just says orange on it. I'm not really sure what this is or what I ordered, to be honest. Oh, so this is one of those things that's supposed to get dents out. So I have an Instapot and I actually only started using it about seven months ago. Now I've had it for about two years and had I opened it when I got it for Christmas, I would have noticed the dent in the side. And I did not because I just let it sit in the box. So when I finally opened it, I noticed that it had a dent. So I'm gonna try and use this and see if it works to see if it'll take the dent out. So I'll let you know if it works or not. And what else do we have? I ordered some twine and it's braided twine, which is really pretty. So I can't wait to use that. Oh, I ordered, oh, I'll show you this later. This, um, I am not really sure what this is. I ordered it. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it'll come to me once I look it up. I'll post what it is somewhere on a screen on the screen here. It looks like some type of scraper for something. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what this is, but I'll just have to look it up. But I'm thinking that I could probably. I'm sure there's a reason why I ordered this, but you know, looking at it, I think that I could probably use this to kind of um, distress um, some of my items with, because it's, it's kind of, it's not like extremely hard where it would like um, damage the wood or whatever it is that you want to distress, but it's, I think it will be firm enough to to be able to like use it to <laughs> yeah <laughs> to use it to um distress items that you've painted if you don't want to use a sander so i don't know if that was my thoughts on that but i ordered it so i'm sure there was a reason why i ordered it i just don't know why i ordered it but hopefully it'll come back to me. Oops. And, oh. This, I believe, is probably one of my best buys. This, um, Scrabble letters. It's a pack of 500. And I do use these quite often in my DIYs. So, um, yes, so now I have more 
and this is, was actually a lot cheaper i think i paid five dollars for this which is a lot cheaper than what i usually pay at walmart for um what i get so can't wait to use those and then i also ordered this little bag of pearls and they're all in different sizes like there's some really really small ones in there and then there's some medium sized ones in there which will be great for um diys so can't wait to use those and what do we have in here oh so i ordered this little nail kit type thing and i actually wish i'm going to see how this works and um if it doesn't work that well i think i'll just go ahead and give it to my niece um she's interested in wanting she's wanting to do nails so i'm going to see how this works um well if it doesn't work then i'm probably not going to give it to her either but um we'll just see how it works if it works then i may just order another one and give and or give her this one or I may order another one and um give it to her so that she can practice because she likes practicing doing nails so we'll see and my last items that i purchased are clothing items i purchased this t-shirt which i thought was really cute and I got it in a medium, which I'm kind of happy I did because I think a small would have been like really tight. I wear a small and extra small, but from the um, reviews, it said I need you probably should size up. So I ordered a medium. So um, I'll let you guys know how this works out after it's washed and dried to see if it lasts. But I thought it was really cute. And it's, it says faith and it's in like the shape of a cross which I really love so um, we'll see how that works out and then I also ordered what is this because like I said I was kind of just clicking on buttons and ordering items so I ordered this because I thought it was really cute but now that I'm looking at it I yeah i i'm not gonna be able to wear this it's really cute though but yeah i'm not gonna be able to wear it because it's see-through i thought it would be something that i could wear to work on one of my days where i don't have to wear my scrubs but um yeah definitely not gonna work because i cannot be walking around in see-through clothes at work or anywhere so, um, yeah, so I'll show you guys this one more time, just in case if you see it, um, just, um, to let you know, it is quite, yeah, it is see-through, like, yeah, so, but it's really cute, but, um, it just won't be cute on me because again I can't walk I just cannot walk around with um, not at work I don't really want to walk around anywhere with see-through clothes on but to each your own just for me personally I can't walk around with see-through clothes on oh oh and then I ordered I forgot all about these little ones these little wooden spoons that I figured we could use for like um, well, I actually thought, let me backtrack this. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, these would be really cute. Little wooden spoons that we could put in our, um, coffee container. My husband drinks coffee and my cappuccino container because I drink cappuccino. Um, and some of the other little items that we use for like, you know, flax seed and some other things. But yeah, these are gonna be more for decoration. These aren't gonna be, this isn't gonna 
yeah this is more decoration wise I'll have to, I these will be used in some type of tear tray DIY but I definitely will not be able to use these to um, put into the containers like I wanted to so just beware they're really cute really cute but if you're buying these like I had planned on using them for um, not gonna work and then I saw these shoes and I thought oh those are really cute so I ordered them now my husband's gonna kill me for ordering shoes because I sorry they have a they smell a little bit funny but they don't smell as bad as the um, the plants the artificial plants but I like the 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 sole on it so I have my feet are really funny um, when it comes to shoes I could wear a pair of shoes today and they may feel all right and then tomorrow my feet don't like they don't like them so I go through lots of shoes and these actually had um, good reviews and they were saying that they were really soft which they are they're really soft and super flexible um so i ordered them but um i also have narrow feet so um yeah so they are really soft i will say that and they are extremely flexible but um because of my feet being so narrow um these won't work for me even with me like kind of tying them up because of my feet being narrow it kind of just bunches up to the side and it doesn't really look right so um and they actually make your foot look a lot bigger than what it is but yeah so really cute um I don't know but yeah so but that is it for my Timu haul as I'm using the items I'll let you know what I think about them um some of the items you already know what I think um and I can definitely say for sure for me personally um I will not be ordering any more of the faux flowers or stems or any of that kind of stuff only because I cannot take the um, the smell of the items and that's just for me I don't I don't want to trigger my migraines like I said I different things trigger my migraines and a lot that smell is more it smells more like chemicals and that's not good for me so I for sure will not be using um, their I won't be purchasing any of their florals for sure but um, I will let you know about the t-shirt once it's washed and dried and I wear it a couple times and I will let you know um, how it works I mean the material is flexible and it I mean it's nice material so but I will let you know if it shrinks or if it fades after I wash it I'll give you um, an honest opinion on this and um, I will for sure be doing this the wood burning I want to try this out so I will definitely have you come along with me on this um, these I absolutely love can't wait to put them out and actually I think I want to just put them out tomorrow even though I don't have all of my decorations but they're so cute why not and like I said when you're ordering these items make sure you look at the um, description of items because I really did not think that when I ordered these, it was going to be this size. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, where, 
I ordered some. <laughs> so I ordered this decoupage paper. And it's supposed to be like vintage paper. And this isn't even full size. It's really pretty. But it's not full size. So, um, like I said before, just make sure that you are actually looking at the description of items so that when you're ordering them you're not thinking like me I was as I'm ordering items I'm kind of just trying to think about what I could do with them as far as um what crafting like what I'm going to use them on because these look at this these this paper is really pretty although it is came bent up but it is really pretty so like for um this would be really nice for crafting So, but it's just smaller than what I envisioned, but um, I can still use it. There's, there's always things that you can do with them. So this may be a happy accident as well as these, but I really thought that these would probably be like this size and this would be normal paper size. But um, other than that, I think I'm happy with the items, most of the majority of the items that I purchased. But like I said, um, as I'm using them, I will definitely go, I will definitely let you know what I think about the items in comparison to um, if I were able to find them somewhere else. At like the Dollar Tree or Walmart or Dollar General so with that being said um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video so again my name is Tawanda and I'm the migraine crafting diva and I'll tell you what every time I look at this <laughs> I just want to laugh but uh, but anywho uh, sorry got distracted again from that mini coaster so um, but yes so that was my Timu, uh, Timu haul. Excuse me, I can't even talk either. It was just kind of I got I walked I um, came home from work, saw the package, and I just kind of wanted to just go ahead and just open it and go through everything with you guys. So um, again, thank you for So I am back with the rest of my Timu order. Um, I had a second package that um, came in the mail a couple days ago. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and go over this. It only has, I believe it says four on it. So there should be only four items in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and uh, we'll see what I purchased. So let me get my scissors here so I can open this and we'll go ahead and get started. So in this little package, I have oof, um, some solar wall lamps. So there's two in here. So I'll probably put these out tomorrow and see if they work. If not tomorrow, then probably um, next weekend. I believe oh, these are some of the... Um, fairy lights I believe so it should be a pack of two yeah so these are the little fairy lights so I'll let you know if these work or not Let's see. Those are really bright. Ooh, extremely bright. Okay. So those are nice. I don't. I think these are really cheap. I think it may be it may have been like less than two dollars for the pack of two. It may have been a dollar. I can't remember. 
But what I think I'll probably do is I'll go through my receipts and then what I'll do is I'll post the, um, the price so you can see if you want those or not. But I would say that if I have light sensitivity problems and um, light bright lights trigger my migraines, so these are really bright and with the flickering. So if you have that same type of sensitivity or trigger for your migraines, I would probably suggest um, not um, using the the uh, fi the uh, flickering setting. Just have just the regular lights, which is what I usually have because I know that a lot of flickering lights um, will trigger my migraines. So. And then I ordered... silicone mats and it was supposed to be it should have been a pack of two but it looks like it's just a one but this is actually a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be because my intentions were to place the silicone mat on um, my board that I do a lot of my crafting on and to just have it there so that I could um, it'll be easy for me to craft and kind of just wipe stuff off but um, this is really small so I may just I don't know I'm gonna have to find something else something bigger so um, I'll probably have to go on Amazon or look at Walmart or somewhere and see if I can find a larger one because this one's gonna be too small and I'm almost certain it was supposed to be a pack of three and it's just one so but yeah so that is everything that I've ordered from Timu. And like I said before in, um, the er in earlier in the video, um, as I'm using these products, I will give you um, my honest opinion of what I think. But as I said before, for sure, for me, I know I can't order any of the flow, excuse me, the faux... Um, greenery because of the chemical smell but um, as um, as I start to just kind of use some of the products I will let you I will definitely give you my honest opinion on if it's um, if you if it's a good buy or not because um, I don't see any reason for you wasting your money on something that is not going to be a, a good buy for you so but that's just my opinion I'm not going to get on here and say oh buy it you know just because so if it's something that i don't like um i'll let you know so with that being said i am going to go ahead and end this video so again my name is tawanda and i'm the migrant crafting diva and if you like what i'm doing please like share and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and like i always say be nicer be kinder god will love you for it and i hope you have a blessed day and i will see you next sunday goodbye